Hello everyone, it's Natasha from Treasure Books. So in my last video that I did, a junk journal with me video, I showed you guys a little box of these flowers and there was an overwhelming number of you who said that you would like to see a tutorial on how I make the flowers. So that's what we are going to do today. This is a fun project and there's um, some different things that you can do so what we will do is I have my instructions over here. We'll go through them together. We'll create some together. And then after we finish doing that, I will show you some ways that you can use these in your project. Because the thing is, we make a lot of stuff and then, and then you think, oh, that looks great. But what can I actually do with it? So we'll go through that at the end. But for now, let's get started making some flowers. Okay, so the first step would be choosing your pages that you want to use for your flowers. So some of the things that you might want to look at is uh, magazine pages, but I've written here thicker magazine, I mean thicker pages. So you don't want to have really flimsy pages and the more color, the better. So like something like this, you know, would work okay. Uh, let's have a look. So this is also a magazine. So you will just want to f sort of find pages with color. So even this would work well because we might do some splashing of color onto a page. So uh, that's an optional step if you can't find any colorful pages. Uh, and then so I've got another magazine. This would be perfect. See this? Perfect build a little flower let's see what else is in here oh like this this is Emily Blunt but it looks really beautiful so I could cut a lot of petals out of this page but I wouldn't want to sort of cut noses and eyes and you know the idea is to have nothing that you can tell what it is I hope I'm making sense and then we've got this book here this is actually a book of flowers so like something like this really beautiful well you, you will see what i mean exactly what i mean once we start cutting out so this is quite nice because it's quite substantial substantial page um there's a little bit of weight to it it's not flimsy so that sort of thing the thing that i used mostly in this project is actually i don't have it to show you because i've used it all up but i can show you an example it's actually a recipe book and there was a lot of photos of food so you can see here this here that's berries and that's tomato and that's some sort of a cabbage when you look closely you might be able to see so like you can see here that's a some sort of vegetable that's a vein in the in the leaf you can even see here faintly so uh, those are those books are really really nice because oh here you can see in this one some sort of a cabbage over here so they those books are really nice because they have very colorful pages that's the sort of thing you want to look for okay so the next thing you might want to do it is optional but you might splash some pages with color or glitter or whatever you know you can do so what i did for to save a little bit of time i used some pages from one of the magazine that i showed you what i did prior to filming this video because i want to save time i splashed some white color i splashed some orange some black and i also painted it with glitter i don't know if you can see here we go uh just with like a kid's glitter paint so that's what i did with that one and this one here as well you can see all that glitter and then i also just took some pages of uh, like from a magazine but no pictures just writing because i do have a couple of flowers over here that's uh that's not actual photos okay so i just wanted to show you uh, our third step is to draw petals on a page and you want them to be similar size and shape so you can either draw freehand or you can use a template so I'll show you free what I mean by freehand this is just me drawing I'll just move this so you can see you can see that the petals are not exactly the same they are irregular and perhaps they you know that's what flowers look like in nature right so 
it's not all the petals are not perfectly you know exactly the same and these ones here yeah, even some of them are bigger and even this one here so you know that's freehand and most of them I've done this way and then I did some with a template so this is an example of template ones they, they look you know more sort of perfect I guess so I'm not really sure which ones I prefer if I prefer I don't know I think I like them both so we'll do both okay so here's my page and now I'm going to draw some petals but first I will do free hand and then I will show you uh, with the template okay so here we go now I'm just going to try and create similar shapes if I can I like to have a border around my petals in most of them there's a black border so I mean I'm using a thicker sharpie over here but when I'm cutting them out I want to have that border okay so now with the template so you just want a piece of something uh, this is just from a cereal box and you just draw yourself a template so depending on how large you want it and how symmetrical you can draw as I've already showed you I can't draw very symmetrically so I'll just keep trying until I get it right I think that's all right maybe a bit large so maybe I can do maybe I can do a smaller one too so not perfectly symmetrical but it will serve its purpose so then I cut out my template maybe I'll use the small one so then now when you have your template you just use that just like that so now I'm going to do some on here the next thing we will do is cut them out if I was I'm just for this video just going to do a couple of flowers but if I was actually going to use this you know as a project I would draw petals as I would fit in as many as I can into one page but because you know I'm sort of going to have a lot of time at the moment I just did a couple so the next thing we're going to do is cut them out and I'll just show you one and then I'll go move on to all of the others and I'll speed it all up so I am just cutting them out but I'm trying to leave a, the, a little bit of the black border I don't want to have you know too thick a border And then that's it and this would be perfect little activity to do in front of the TV so you would get all your all of your pages ready you know and and splashed and whatnot and then you just sit there and if you're gonna be watching TV anyway you might as well do something useful right so this is the perfect thing to do while watching TV okay so here we go that's the one with the template and i i just realized i had some left over from the previous project of the little template so I, I had different sizes so you can do that too you know you can have of course different sizes this big one this one this size here So just approximately like when you look at it like this it doesn't look huge but the flower turns out really big so anyhow those ones are done so now I'm just gonna cut up these you know the ones that I did freehand so here are my little petals you don't have to use the flowers don't have to all come from the same page so you can see when you're using the same page there's a little bit more cohesion to the flower here I've used different colors what I'm trying to say is you can mix and match so I could make one flower from these two I might we'll see how I go so usually I would have all of my little petals cut out so then I can have you know I might have a whole bag of these ready and then I can just mix and match when making my flower so now the next thing we want to do is a punch a circle for base so what I mean by that is you'll see when I turn my flowers around there's this circle that's the base and that's what's holding my flower together I did this project so long ago that 
I don't know if you can see back then I didn't even own a circle punch so you do not have to have one of these to be able to do this project you can just cut a little circle by hand no one's going to be looking at the back of your flower anyway so but if you do have a circle then a uh, circle punch I mean then you, now what we're going to do is we're going to punch a circle for base so I'm just going to use one of these that I was using beforehand so now what we're going to do I'm going to apply some glue just like this and then I might have my glue handy just in case when I'm building the flower if I need more glue so now what we're going to do I think I wonder if I should I just want to see if I should I know that they're different sizes how would that look as a flower would that look not great it'll probably look okay but I think I'm just going to stick with order so now what we're going to do is we're going to build our flower and the way that we do that is you're placing the very tip of the petal into the middle of the circle so just like that and then the next ones you're just overlapping so you can see here they're overlapping the petals and because this glue I'm just using uh, just a standard white school glue nothing special I think for my next one I might use my quick drying glue okay so the skinnier the petals the more of them you need so you will see here these petals are quite uh, wide and thick so I only have about what is it seven yeah seven petals whereas for this flower because they're long and sort of narrow I will need a bit more so I'll need nine okay so then you have a look at your flower and then you just you know before it's all dry you might want to rearrange the petals a little bit so they can be sitting there nice and evil uh, not evil God, you don't want them evil okay <laughs> you want them even okay so there's that I'm gonna leave that to dry and now for this one here I'm just going to use my glue I'm just using my other glue this is it's acetone based and dries very quickly so that's why I'm going to use this one so that we can move on to the next step quicker all right building the flower so this is the one that I cut with a uh, free hand so now what I'm looking at I can see that some of my petals are darker some are lighter but I have a lot more darker ones than I do lighter ones so I might do something like this now this one is quite a lot bigger than the others so I might bring it down a little, little bit more I need to add a little bit more glue to this one because there's not much glue peeping out there so and now I mean it's not looking great yet none of them looked great straight away you know okay so I just wanted to show you some of the things that you can do so here you can see that I haven't actually done anything to the petals I just added an, uh, this little flower here I put some bling on there and pushed the brad through to hold it out all together you can see the bad brad at the back there some of them I've done uh, I don't know if you can see here little dots around the petals and just glued, up, glued down some little bits and pieces just to make a center over here you can see also these little dots I've got the white dots around and then the yellow here and then a little uh, center in the middle so and over here as well the dots I'll show you how I did the dots over here what I did with this one is a stencil prior to cutting out my pencils I just sprayed I've got a stencil so you can see that there there's so many different things that we can do with this and this is what makes it so much fun because if you have a few, a few flowers on the go here I've just got some ribbon if you have a few flowers on the go it's so interesting trying to you know getting your bling box out and thinking about how you can embellish the flowers and you know designing each flower I think when I did this project it was many years ago and as you can see I've been hoarding the flowers um, I had so much fun doing it so 
Uh, okay, so this isn't dry yet, but because I wanted to add a little bit of color, I thought I will do that now, and then my glue and my paint can dry at the same time. So I just want to show you how I did those dots. So I have one of these little, I don't even know what these tools are called. You can use anything that has a little bit of a point up the top to, to do the dots. So this one here, I even used uh, cotton buds you can see here so uh, anything anything pointy and you know be a tool so here i think maybe i can add a little bit of white somewhere i don't know i just really like the dots you know so let's see okay so that's all now dry so now what I want to do is just place a center in the middle. So I went scavenging and I found a few little bits and pieces so I can have a look. You know, this step you can make as elaborate as you like or not. So I think for this one I might, um, I might really, you know, try and, that looks really good. I'm happy with that. I might try and do something a little bit more elaborate, I guess. So let's have a look. Maybe something like that. And then I have this little bit of uh, blingy trim. So maybe, let's see. Maybe something like that. That looks quite nice. Maybe I can do a little doily type thing in the middle. Oh, I like that. I think that's what I'll do for that one. And then I have my little blings here. I want a little blingy piece for this one then I have this type of bling so I'm just gonna see if I can do something a little bit fun that will look quite nice all right so first I'm gonna go glue this down and I want to add a little bit extra onto the petals I wonder if I'm going a little bit overboard if I add more bling to this one. Okay, so that's that one. That one's a little bit blingy. So I've had these little sticky on bling bits here on the petals and then this in the middle. And I think that looks quite cute. That one's done with the template. And then this one here just added a little bit of bling here and there. And that, that's what that one looks like. So I'm happy with those. I'm just going to leave them as they are. And now I'm going to show you how you could use these in your projects. I'm sure that you already have some of your own ideas. I will show you some of my ideas and then you can, uh, I'm sure you'll come up with all sorts of things. So, okay. So this is the one that you, most of you guys have seen when I did my journal with me session my junk journal with me session and where I applied this was the page that I did and I, I applied one of the flowers here in this project and that looks really really cool you can use them in your journal and then over here I've got let's see where is it I've got one placed in a pocket over here just like that so just a little treasure you know, if you're having a journal for sale and, you know, you're filling up pockets and things like that. It looks really cool like that. Okay, then I've got my art journal. And it's full of little goodies and, and stuff like that ready to be filled up. So just placing it on a page anywhere really looks amazing. And then this is my kind of like a... I don't know, fun glue book. Fun little things that I can come in and have fun with and create. So anywhere I put it, it looks amazing. Here's one over here. This one, you can see that I've, this one's already glued down. So this one, you can see here, these are blueberries. So that was one of that, uh, out of that cookbook. So 
it really adds so much to any page anywhere anywhere you put it it looks amazing okay let's grab an envelope Something like that and an envelope looks cool and then let's have a look at a gift for someone so this is just a pretend wrapped gift it's just a box really and I just slipped in a flower in there you can glue it on on a gift to complete the gift okay next let's grab a tag so it can be a cool little tag topper looks really cool all right next let's grab a little baggie you can fill it up with little goodies and have it inside a journal and then you can decorate it with a little flower on top or even if you have a clear baggie like this you can do collaging on the bag i've seen lots of uh, videos and like collaging and doing stuffed bags and then you just add if you just had a few book pages glued on here a little bit of ink in etc and then you have this here and it can be even like a little if you just glue down the bottom here it can be like a tuck spot next let's have a look at a journaling spot so just a little journaling spot with a little something maybe something like this to decorate it really adds so so much interest to any project really i'm sure that you have so many ideas running through your head at the moment if you do please do write it down in the comment section down below okay so i'll just give you this uh, pop this here so you can take a screenshot so i think that this is really a really interesting project fun project to do especially you know if you're stuck in a rut if you're in between projects if you're not sure what to do if you've got a little bit of free time and you just want to do something creative sit in front of the tv cut out some petals decorate have fun and each flower is different and before you know it you have a box full of little flowers that you can then go ahead and place into your project so thank you so much for being here with me today i sure do hope that you enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comments down below and i will see you in my next video bye